I'm Kat. I am part of NPM CLI team. Uh, so this talk is going to be kind of a brief overview of the state of the, state of the, uh, the command line interface, the CLI for NPM, which is, let's be clear, what you're all actually here for. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, sorry. I can't do that from up here. Anyway, you can grab my talk. Uh, you can NPM install my talk, of course. Uh, and you can also reach me at Twitter. That's my Twitter handle. Uh, so, uh, this is going to be a kind of a brief overview over these points. I'm going to talk about NPM at 3 and where that's at right now. I'm going to talk about the stabilizing work that we're doing and kind of what that means. I guess also sustaining work. Uh, going to be talking about uh, the state of triage that Forrest talks about all the time and me by extension. Uh, and then some product related work that we're also doing on the CLI because, you know, there's actual features on it, and we're actually attached to a company. Um, so NPM at three, it's a year old now. <laughs> We've had this thing out for a year. It is, it is, very, it is very nice and stable now. Like we, are, we have pretty high confidence in the quality and the reliability of the installs that it does now. Um, it is shipping by default in node six, which is going to become its LTS in October. Um, and NPM2 is still around. Please don't use it, but it's still around if you really, really need to. And it's going to be in, no, uh, in Node 4 for as long as that LTS uh, lasts. And I, I don't know what's happening with the rest of the LTS stuff. So, But for now, Node 4 will have NPM2. <laughs> Please upgrade. And if you really, really need convincing for updating. Oh, does this play? How do I? I play this for you. There we go. This is what the progress bar looks like now. It's changed a lot since a year ago, and it's actually really, really sweet. So, if you want this progress bar, you want to update <laughs> NPM. <laughs> and if you want to use it for your own project, there's uh, er. Uh, Rebecca has erna slash gauge on on GitHub. It's just gauge on GitHub, and you can get one of these sweet things for yourself and customize it for your project. Oh, and there's way fewer bugs now in NPM3, I swear. <laughs> um, so, speaking of bugs, what we're doing right now at the NPM CLI team is focusing on sustaining work. That is the main focus. Um, so, for those of you unfamiliar with the term sustaining work, there's sustaining work and expanding work, and kind of sustaining work is, we have this thing. We have this, this thing that we, we have. <laughs> And we kind of want to make it be not terrible. So we're just going to make sure that this, as it is right now, works really well. That means we're going to fix bugs. That means we're going to work on the test suite. That means we're going to um, you know, address those big issues that we keep getting thrown our, our, our way. It also means that we've, um, not only have we stabilized the test suite, we're working on getting CI working. Also, Windows. We had a big push earlier this year to get the test suite passing on Windows and fix the a number of Windows specific bugs in the process. So we have a lot more confidence in how well the NPM CLI works on Windows. It is an officially supported platform. You do not need to use Sigmund. You do not need to use any of these weirdo environments. And please, for the love of errors, do not use it with the Ubuntu thing. <laughs> um, we won't support it. We won't. We're not going to help not you with yet. it. Not yet, but, but we, won't, we won't help you with those bugs. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Um, <laughs> so that also involves a lot of shrink wrap fixes. Shrink wrap is kind of an ongoing thing for us. Like we're trying to make sure that it works really well as it is right now. There, are, there is a lot of talk going back and forth, both in the community and internally, about what to do with shrink wrap from then. But for now, what we have for shrink wrap is our current plan. And the main thing is making sure that what we have works well and works reliably as, it, as designed. Um, some of you might know that we were doing a weekly, uh, a, a weekly release cycle where we would delay a release by a week and then so on and so forth, but we would have a release every week. That's now moved to a monthly release cycle, so we have more time to um, you know, do our work instead of doing our releases. 
And finally, we've, we've been doing things to try and reach y'all. Like, I'm really glad that you're here, because now I can reach you. But we have a lot more users than the people that are in this room, and it's been like an ongoing challenge to make sure that uh, our team can communicate with everyone that uses our tool, that they know that they can talk to us, that they know that they can reach us, that they know that uh, we will listen and empathize a lot. And then, and then we'll cry a lot. Because this is what happens when you actually reach us. <laughs> this is my life right now. This is, this is, if you ever see Forrest crying, it's probably because of this. If you don't see him crying, it's because he forgot about this for a few minutes. <laughs> um, so we, we, you know, there, uh, Forrest had a great talk in his fields. It talked about, uh, who was it? You, you quoted someone, and it was like once, if you have one developer, you can do 12 to 14 issues at a time, and after that, it becomes unsustainable for like number of issues. We have three people on our team. We have like a couple people helping us on the tracker. There's no way that we can ever manage that. Like realistically speaking, most of those are also like just support issues. So we're trying really hard and spending a lot of time to try and keep that number under control. And that number is about as under control as we think we can do it reasonably. Um, so, whew. we triage every damn day. <laughs> we go through feature requests. You might see that there's a lot of feature requests. We, go, we have a meeting every single day to go through them. We discuss them. We consider them. We take them very seriously. We look at the underlying needs that these things are talking about to us. We, we do not like throw away feature requests, even if it might seem like, if it ever seems that way, I'm really sorry, and let's, let's talk about that. But, uh, we do close a lot of them. We have to close a lot of them. We cannot spend too much time on them because we have a lot of other ones to look at. Uh, that's kind of how triage works, right? You have, you're trying to figure out what is going to get you the most bang for your buck as far as survival goes in a very depressing way. Um, so it means that big bucks take a much higher priority. Uh, of our time than you would get from like features and adding new shiny things that you might expect. Uh, as part of that support stuff, because most of our tickets are support tickets, we added uh, Keenan Yildirim, who has been fantastic on our issue tracker for years, literally years, going in there asking people, okay, can you update NPM, doing all these things, doing just basic, basic support on our issue tracker. So he's now a contributor, and we'll, you'll, you'll see Keenan pretty often popping up there with like basic questions. And if you also want to help us with any of this, email Forrest, but don't actually email Forrest because he doesn't like emails. But tweet at us, definitely tweet at Forrest. Tweet, Forrest likes Twitter. Tweet at Kat. Tweet at me, tweet at me, tweet at Rebecca. We'll pass on the message. We definitely, definitely, definitely love community help. Like it's, like I said, it's a challenge. Um, Finally, I want to talk a little bit about product. So we, you know, the CLI team uh, is basically the open source arm of, the, of NPM Inc., right? So we are, we are the ones that are really facing this, like, big open source community. We are the thing that people install. Like, uh, everything that we do is open sourced. So, um, Either way, we are still part of NPM Inc. and we are trying to support, we are, we are not trying, we are actually supporting their efforts, uh, our efforts, to do product work. What is product? Basically things that will make the company money and then eventually or immediately directly benefit the open source community. Uh, so what is that? We have an effort to do analytics that Rebecca is leading. I don't have the issue number for that. If you're interested in looking at analytics at NPM and how, how NPM opt-in, so it's opt-in just before anyone like jumps down my neck about this. Um, we're going to send analytics data so we can start collecting more information about what our users need and that'll help us a lot. Uh, it'll be opt-in for people who want to cooperate with us and there is, and it's all gonna be open source work. So if you want to help with that in any way, there is an issue. So uh, people, I think someone already took it up to help implement it for us, so, which is fantastic. Uh, we also have new login features coming up, meaning like the whole login thing is getting revamped a little. That means you're gonna get single sign-on. That's like OAuth, so you can 
once it's implemented, at first it's going to be for like NPM Enterprise. Once that's stable there and we know what we need and we know that it works, we're gonna take that and we're going to turn it into, uh, for example, GitHub-based login, login. So you can actually link up your GitHub account with your NPM account instead of signing up separately. Um, <laughs> Two-factor authentication for publishing, which is really cool. That is something that might also come with that effort. Like it, this is all touching the authentication and uh, and log inside of NPM, so look forward to that. And we're looking at other things in the future. For example, front end, we're looking at how to support front end better. That's an ongoing conversation, and that's pretty much my talk. Uh, Forrest and I are here, and our intern Emma, if you'll raise your hands. Uh, y'all can come up and talk to us anytime during the conference. We are literally here to talk to y'all, so please, Come approach us, Rebecca was going to be here, but Rebecca can't today, so it's just going to be the three of us. And of course, anytime on Twitter, feel free to ping us. Uh, thank you. Thank you.